Welcome to the Shine No Grind Show, the number one show on YouTube where we take you through the process on different successes in life. Well, this show is called Foster Care. It's a process, y'all, especially if y'all want to get your kids out of there. So, here we go. We have here Lariva, and she is working on getting her um, a, a child out of foster care. And what are some of the things that you go through? Uh, the process is I got to go to parenting classes. I got to go to like meetings, knowing how to take care of the foster care, setting them up for appointments, making sure I feed them, give them the medication, make sure the house is clean, just doing all the necessary things to get the foster child back into the home. Okay, and how long is the process going to be? Uh, they said like when I talked to the foster people, they said like five or six months. Mm. Like when I keep going to the parenting classes, and attending the meetings or whatever and get my parent my foster license certificate mm -hmm. and I become a foster parent or whatever that's when mm -hmm. they said that I could bring in a child and see how it goes now if I take the child in and the child like the place or whatever they could stay okay so what are some struggles that you go through uh, with the, you and, challenges. and challenges struggles and tra challenges um, the struggle is dealing with the foster kid is the foster kid I'm getting have a, a huge disability like with fighting himself and slobbing and I'm not used to like I have two kids of my own I'm, I'm not used to a kid that has a huge disability that slobs and bite on himself and just run around the house doing all kinds of things so that's going to be a, a huge challenge for me and with him, with my child, whatever, he has a disability, but it's not nothing like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm used to working with kids that's disabled anyway. I used to work mm -hmm. with elders with dis disabled in city senior citizen homes and kids mm -hmm. that's, that's uh, and kids that's disabled going to like group homes or whatever that's in group homes that's disabled and don't really have families, things like that. So what have you done so far to take action into um, getting this foster child? Um, I met with the foster child. I met with the person that has the foster child. I recently came from Indiana to meet with the foster child and I went to the meetings and I, to me, uh, I went to the meetings with the foster child and things like that. And to be honest, it's kind of, it's going to be very difficult. Mm -hmm. Put it that way. And how difficult are are there? Um, do they do background checks? Yes. What do, else? But you have to have a clean background check. You have you can't be a criminal. You can't be on drugs, using drugs. And if you own prescription, you have to let the people know what kind of prescription you on mm -hmm. to be on the safe side. Wow. Yes. So how much longer do you have before you? can get them and when will they let you know when you can uh, be accepted to, to, to be able to get the child uh, I have two weeks two weeks that's beautiful yes I'm very happy congratulations that's my, that's I know that's a process because a, a lot of people use foster care as just to get paid well that's the thing you know with me since I was raised up in foster care since I was a child all the way up till I was a teenager and got older I learned that it's not all about like being a foster parent some people you're right does depend on the money mm -hmm. but like I told them I don't want the money I want to be the child parent I want to be there for the child Beautiful. like the parent like the child already feel like they lonely, like they don't have no one to turn around to. They don't have no mom or dad. I'm not trying to be their mom or dad, but I want to be the person they can depend on. I don't want the money at all. Beautiful. It's, it's, I agree. It's really different. I definitely agree. Is there any other comments that you can give on a process of being a foster parent? Uh, comment is if you take a child in, treat them as your own. Don't treat them like an outsider or anything like that and they also want to be loved don't misuse them misuse them or beat them or anything like that 
it's really a blessing to have a foster Mommy. child. I agree. It's not all about the money at all. Mommy. That's good. All right, well, thank you for being on Shine No Grind. Thank have a you. nice day. Thank you.